Hey everyone, so in the last video, we talked about defining a percentage and thinking of a percentage as a number that is some fraction of a hundred. So if we were to look at, for example, 25%, we can equivalently express this as a fraction of a hundred. So we can say that by definition of a percentage, this is 25 over 100. That is essentially the definition and purpose of our percentages. Now, here's a quick thought. If percentages are just a type of fraction, could we then add or subtract percentages? Can we, can we work with these types of arithmetic procedures? And the answer is yes, because we could add and subtract different fractions and a percentage is a type of fraction. So we can add and subtract percentages in, and in a very similar way. So we're going to work through a couple of examples here just to get you, get you used to this procedure, but it shouldn't be too, too difficult here. So if we had, for example, 100% minus 32%. So let's write these in a form that we're more comfortable with because we've, we've gone through adding and subtracting fractions. So let's do it in this form first. So this is like writing 100 over 100 minus 32 over 100. And now we have the same denominator here of 100. So we can just work with these numerators here. So we will get 100 minus 32 over 100, which equals 68 over 100. Now we have this in a fraction, in the form of a fraction, and we want to get this, we want to get this as a percentage. And we said that a percentage is just a, a number expressed as a fraction of a hundred. So we will have that this equals, this is equivalent to, so, oops. This is equivalent to 68%. Now, you may have noticed something here. I, I expressed these as fractions because that's what we're used to, but 68% here, that is just gotten from the simple arithmetic process of subtracting 32 from 100. So we can say that because these are both percentages, these both have a denominator of 100. So we don't even need to express them as fractions if we wanted to save time. We can just go straight into the percentage subtraction. And we'll see that here we got 68. And we'll notice that this goes for any different type of percentage addition or subtraction. Subtraction, I should say. So let's look at one more example here in terms of adding and subtracting these. So let's look at this one here. So we have 30% plus 47. Okay, well, in the same way, these are both fractions of 100. That's like saying 30 over 100 plus 47 over 100. But we noticed from the last question, we don't even need to convert it to a fraction. That was just to give you a bit of the intuition, but we can just add these percentages right off the bat because they have the same denominator. So we can just add these two arithmetically and we will be left with 77%. So that is in essence, all we have to do when we add or subtract percentages. I'll see you guys next time.